I'm a little materialistic, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, what girl is it? Who doesn't like designer bags? But in my designer bag, I'm gonna carry three things to help me represent my past, present, and future. The item that represents my past the best are a pair of chopsticks. Now you're like, oh, chopsticks? Come. Because I'm Asian American, the chopsticks help me remember my past, my, my family's past history, and my culture. Although I've never been back to my native land, which is Cambodia and Laos, they're right next to each other, so I'm mixed. I still remember them by my parents in my childhood, learning my native tongue and the characters in the script I had to learn in Temple, and all the folk dancing I learned as well. Instead of going to summer camp or spinning in church like some of my elementary school friends did. And when we compared stories when we came back to school over the summer, I always felt like the oddball because I was the only Asian in my class and I didn't realize why these people didn't go to temple like I did and what was church and what's summer camp and everything I told them totally awed them. And that I was the only girl in my class to use chopsticks made me feel a little special too. My teacher couldn't even use them. So I got to teach my class some things when I was a lot younger that made me feel special. I'll never forget that I'm Asian American because it's what brought me here to America and it gave me the character to help me be a better person than I am today because I am so grateful to be here and I am so grateful that my parents went through the struggle to be here after the Khmer Rouge. So I'm lucky to be alive living in America because I could be back in my home country not having all the privileges I have here. Now the other thing I carry in my designer bag are a pair of beautiful designer shoes that help me grow up throughout my day. I mean, I work two jobs and go to school. I get pretty tired, but with a good pair of shoes that are comfortable and supportive. I mean, I can wear them all day long and it'll always be there for me. No matter if I'm so tired and I wouldn't just give up, they're there. And one thing about my shoes is that they're always going to be clean because cleanliness is next to godliness. And the first thing a girl does is judge a person by their shoes. I mean, not all, but most I like to judge men by shoes because if you have good taste in shoes, then you're pretty good taste in people. Well, that's how I like to think of it. I mean, if you know designer and you like to keep yourself well maintained, why not, right? <laughs> and the third thing I have in my bag is my engagement ring. Being engaged now for about eight months, I am so excited becoming an adult and sharing my life with someone else. I never thought I could was able to do it and at a, such a young age I never thought that this was possible at all. But I've met my soulmate and we're just one step closer to beginning our lives together. This is my perfect accessory. Sometimes it's the only thing I'll wear as an accessory. I mean it sets off my outfit it always matches with everything and I get all the compliments on it and it's a real conversation starter and it just makes me feel good about myself knowing that I have this ring to pass on to my children and to tell them the story that their father proposed to me and then we had a wonderful life and had them I mean I can pass this on for generation genera genera generation and keep my culture alive with this ring story so those are three things I'd carry in my bag most to help represent my past, present, and future.